It went from just one of the most amazing times of my life to something that I will never forget for as long as I live. An officer friend of mine texted me, active shooter at Mandalay Bay. My dad called and he said, Uncle Brett's been shot. He was the 58th because he was shot in the head. That's what made us realize that, you know, we got to up our game because the crazies are upping their game. People were crying. How do we stop this from happening? What do we do now? Um, so I had a chance to listen to the pain that the people immediately following this incident. People think that all they owe the situation is just to like and share something and then back to their lives, you know, not my problem. That's not enough. If you, if you care, liking and sharing something or even giving 20 bucks is not enough. We created the free CCW class and the goal was to prepare people to protect themselves. We had 1,500 registrations inside of like three, four days. On Facebook right now, more than 7,000 people are interested in going. Well, another 1,800 people have committed to actually attending the event. I think that he did this strictly because he saw a need to empower people and to help people. And I thought it was a great idea. And so I decided to take the class as well. And on the day of the event, thousands showed up. The line was a quarter mile long many of whom were victims of Route 91. And this is a free class that he designed to help everybody in the community. Largest CCW class in United States history. It wasn't that, oh God, watching the watch and hoping it's over. Uh, it was interesting, it was fun. Everybody's happy to have their CCW. Everybody wanted to have their CCW. And then they all got nullified. Police say they received complaints the course was taught incorrectly. Instead of the class lasting eight hours, it only lasted six. Metro sends an undercover officer in who shows up two hours later than the start time. He walks by the bathrooms where the entrance was, and the volunteer staff that were sitting there thought that he was already in the class and he just went for a bathroom break. They didn't question him. Metro took that to say uh, that we only ran a six hour class. They found loopholes and they found ways so that they could stop him. Metro accepted their application with the $96.25 fee and then after they had paid the money told them that uh, eight hour class is nullified, you're going to have to retake it and your qualifications uh, and resubmit within the next 30 days or your money's lost. The CCW detail told us uh, when we questioned, you know, going up to a higher level about their decision, that it came directly from Joe Lombardo. He let those people go and file for their CCWs and took their money knowing he wasn't going to honor them. I get put under grand jury investigation. Then they shut me down. He should have empowered the people from October 1st. Instead, he tried to discourage them and take their power away. What did they do wrong? They tried to get people their CCWs so that they can protect themselves and their families. It's all about empowerment from the get-go. That's what all of this is about, and that is what they're trying to take away from us. It's all about control. Every time he has a chance to endear the community towards him, he fucks it up by being himself. He clearly targeted them and then came up with this sneaky, deceptive strategy to bring down a guy who's trying to help the community. And that same community, Joe Lombardo lied to to get elected. In my documentary about the LVMPD, what happened in Vegas, we talk about how 94% of the officers who took a police union poll voted against Joe Lombardo for sheriff. They wanted the other guy, but that didn't stop Joe Lombardo from putting endorsed by law enforcement all over his billboard. He's a liar. Just like a puppet man being told what to say by the FBI. Sheriff Lombardo, casino puppet. As soon as the national media was no longer around covering the Vegas mass shooting case, Joe Lombardo quickly dried up his fake ass tears and got back to caring about the only person he really does care about, himself. He doesn't care about the community. He doesn't care about the survivors. If he did, he wouldn't have stomped on them in this manner. The citizens of this county put him in that position. We can take him out the same way we put him in.